games. So. He's got video games. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. All right, so uh, album, uh, and no rush, a lot of six yeah. production. Definitely. A whole bunch of fucking six production. I got some joints on there. One uh, joint with no ID. Uh, yeah, a joint, a joint with no ID for sure. And he, like, as an ex executive producer, was all over it, like, you know, just just guiding all of us, young cats. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else is on there? Uh, oh, can you shut this? We're in the middle yep. of an interview. Sorry. Okay, can you tell? Just, all right, just lock it. Sorry about that. We'll cut it. Cut! Anyway. Cut. Um, uh, S1, who produced Power for Kanye, course, my homie Kibu from Atlanta, this dude on the come up, he's crazy. Uh, who else is on there? Uh, I'm trying to think. Shit, Rob Knox, he produced uh, shit like Dead and Gone for Justin Timberlake and, and T.I. Big records. Uh, who am I forgetting? But I got a whole bunch of people that are all on it. Tate Beast from TDE, uh, even Terrace Martin from that camp. Oh, playing, Terrace Martin is playing incredible. Playing sax, playing sax on this shit. Terrace like Martin's it's, been dope. Yeah, dog. It's, it, yeah, it's for crazy. years. And for those of y'all who might not know, uh, you know, he did like a uh, reel he, for Kendrick. He's a good rapper. Oh, he's crazy. Great producer. Yo, just musician overall. Um, Taught me a lot about jazz. Features. Do you have features like I know the album's kind of been done for a while, right? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. It's, are it's, the features? Are you gonna have Nas on the album? Oh, that's funny that he said that. That is so. Crazy. Listen, you have the no ID. Uh, I know. You have the no ID cocaine eighties connection. Yeah, yeah. You guys work out of the and same met, studio you know, in L.A. I've met, I met Nas he, before. Um, I know on the yeah, rooftop. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah, knows that yeah, though. Yeah, Come on. A, yeah, he's a good dude. Um, honestly, I was with you know uh, Don, uh, Cannon. Did yeah, you, of course. Yeah, yeah, the Cannon. Such an underrated producer no he's fucking incredible so i was with him in the studio one day and i was telling him how like i wanted to, you know i've never met kendrick i haven't I've had the opportunity but really I'm, I'm a, yeah i'm a big fan of kendrick he was somebody i thought would sound great on this type of album uh everybody from cole are the features guys, locked down yet all this no you know what it was Cannon was like fuck everybody and he didn't mean it in a malicious way he was like man fuck everybody this is your story bro and it's like even though there was a lot of people i wanted to connect with for even the first time or maybe even again on this record i was like hold on a second so don cannon was like you know this is your story and as i said there was definitely a lot of people that i wanted to link with um but i, I was like man let me just tell it man let me illmatic this motherfucker and uh, you know i'm not necessarily saying i'm trying to you know i'm trying to do my own thing but just as far as no huge um guest features but who knows what to expect on the deluxe who knows what will be on the deluxe and but i've already begun recording the second album oh wow said here for the first time second album is second already album. in the works yeah I've been, I've been recording a couple of them joints you know the funny thing is is i had one song in particular. I, I i sent it to him just like on some friendship shit like right. yo check this out who's also a rapper heard it and was like this shit is crazy dog he was like it's crazy I, you know whatever and i was like you want to get on it and he was like sure da, da, da. so uh, I was saving it for the first, uh, for the second album, but I was like, "Fuck it, you know, let me." So it's gonna be on the first album. Uh, yeah, it'll be on the deluxe, man. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, you were saying, is it, you're a part of Visionary Music Group? Um, there's Quest and uh, what's the other dude's name? John Bellion. John Bellion, the singer. Okay. Yeah. Um, is is Quest gonna get the A Z slot on your Illmatic? Oh nah, unfortunately. Okay. Nobody. There's like literally no one on it. That's dope. There's I no love. I respect the fuck out of that man. I appreciate it. I just did it. I just did it that way because, like I said, it's my story. I just want to have fun. No, that's incredible. There's a lot, of, and and like there's a lot of people who could be like, oh, oh no, that's a bold move. That's what it is. It's like, look, man, people aren't gonna buy my album just because of one verse from somebody else. Like they're gonna buy their my album because they either fuck with me or they don't. 100%. It's either that good or it's not. But like I said, deluxe. Deluxe. Yeah. Um. You're the only MC that's kind of been new that, maybe Kendrick or someone else who I, I might say, that really doesn't get compared. I don't hear you getting compared to someone else that's like an OG. Like, you know, like um, a lot of people, like Troy Ave, a lot of people compare him to 50. Or, oh, yeah. You know, there's just always, there's always someone who has, like, you know, I guess Kendrick, some people will be like, Kendrick's like the new Nas or some shit like that. Yeah, but who, nobody's who, ever really done that with me. Well, I mean, fans, but but I get all I read some horrible shit. comments. Yeah, Someone, yeah. I read some comments on Two Dope Boys a few weeks back. And the fan, listen, y'all motherfuckers on two, two dopeboys.com, y'all commenters, whatever fucking websites. Someone said you sounded like MGK. That really that really irked me a bit. No, I think it's just the fast flow. Yo, on to some real shit, though. Shout out to Two Dope. Because that's where I go. Where do you go? I go to Two Dope Boys. I go to Two Dope, too. That's where I be. Shout out to Shaq. Uh, when, I, when I go, yeah. It's when I go looking for all new music and stuff. That's where I'm at. Um, it, it, it is true, I don't really, though. I don't really be looking at comments, though. Because I don't give a fuck. Like, I look I, at my Twitter feed. And like and like that's what I see. So if people, if the if the real fans are like, right. eh, I don't know about this or this or that or this is great. That's how I gauge my shit. I don't gauge my shit off of people who have like, don't give a shit. You know, I give a shit. Uh, I gauge off the people that I'm actually making the music for. But with that said, um, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs>
Is there, uh, I know you're making some, you're, you're surviving off hip hop now, which is always a good thing to be able to do. Yeah. Have you made a big, like, first purchase yet, or is that still coming? What do you mean? Oh. You know, when everyone gets their deal, they buy their mom a fucking car, yeah, they buy a yeah, fucking yeah. Rover, they buy a chain, have you Honestly, done that Honestly, I've spent about half a million dollars since, since I got my deal on, well, no, it's, I definitely, because I, I, I mean, I made a lot more. But I've, I'm not trying to stunt. But I'm saying of what I've spent my. What money he's on. saying is he's a millionaire. <laughs> this bag of weed, ten thousand oh, dollars. Definitely, oh, oh, man, man, that's crazy. No, I'm just saying that the the music business is very lucrative. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But um, I've spent all um, all my money. Like I put half a million, you know, into this album and everything, and employing, you know, the people and like this fucking tour bus. I paid for all this shit out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like. This is all everything, and these, these tours cost me six figures, and the merchandise, and the money that goes into this, and this, and this, and this, all the shit that we have to set up comes out of my own pocket. So my biggest, my biz, biggest expense was spent on the fans. It wasn't really spent, you know, on myself. Um, you know, I got a nice six-bedroom house, but I shit, I fucking rent that. You know, I'm not rent. Once I, I find a good woman, that, this is a know, house in LA. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. Once I know who the hell I'm gonna marry one day, then I'll fucking buy a house. But I'm chilling for quite some time on that. Um, yeah, I did buy a dirt bike. I guess. Okay, Meek Mill. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny as shit. Yeah, I got a dirt bike. That's that dope. Was, yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm super but dope. But all my money, man, I just you know I let it uh, you know go right back into the into the business.